Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's, Wednesday's session, 7th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit the uh, uh, Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and uh, decipher as to where these markets stand. Asian markets overnight certainly uh, putting in another positive session, given the fact that US markets certainly pushed higher. The uh, Shanghai up 0.7%, the Nikkei up 0.7%, the uh, Hang Seng up 0.5%. Now, the negative news flow overnight really was based from uh, Australia. Uh, GDP in Australia came, actually came in on the weaker side. Okay. In terms of economic data this morning, industrial production from Germany certainly came in on the weaker side as well, coming in at just 0.3%, negating yesterday's bullish economic data. Although that hasn't stopped the German DAX from gapping above 10,800 and, and the touching the 10,900 zone, which I'll certainly discuss as well. In terms of uh, imports from France, certainly on the stronger side. Uh, exports, certainly on the weaker side. Okay, so again, that weaker euro still isn't helping. And you actually had a uh, slightly better current account due to that fact. Okay, now in terms of other data, we've had UK manufacturing production and uh, industrial production both on the weaker side. Extremely negative, minus 1.3% on the production side, industrial production and manufacturing production minus 0.4%. So Brexit certainly hurting the FTSE 100, okay? So Brexit concerns are negative for the FTSE and therefore looking for the FTSE 100 to certainly move lower. Now the FTSE MIB certainly has come into uh, resistance, uh, whilst the uh, the Italian or the FTSE uh, banks and the Italian banks certainly are into resistance as well. Uh, in terms of uh, data for the rest of the day, it's US jolts. Job openings, UK GDP or NISR GDP estimate, uh, consumer credit change, nothing really other than the major risk event really will be the Japanese GDP data out overnight. So, fundamentals, basically we already know that um, from given the Italian referendum, it was interpreted as being bearish given the political uncertainty, given the left wing and the radicals and extremists that are potentially coming into power in Europe. That certainly has been ignored. Everything certainly seems to be focused on Mr. Draghi tomorrow. And everybody seems to be front-running Mr. Draghi. Or everybody's scared of shorting and going into Draghi. Or whoever is uh, potentially short is, is trying to cover. So, uh, it's, it's, it's really strange in terms of the rally. But that's basically where we stand, folks. Okay, You have to respect price action. And German DAX has actually managed to get above 10,800. Now, is that bullish? Um, technically speaking, yes. Fundamentally speaking, no. Okay, so I, I personally wouldn't like to chase this rally here. So, from my understanding, my interpretation certainly uh, has stalled. Daily chart, the German DAX, you have resistance uh, capped at uh, 10,990. So, watch out for resistance around that 10,990 zone. Okay, uh, the day is over. The day isn't over. Okay, so German DAX, like I said, fundamentally it's bearish. Technically, it's, it's bullish. So, how do you how do you basically navigate between the two? Okay, uh, and again, like I said, certainly a strong case for a potential topping tail by the end of the day. Sixty minute chart, the German DAX. You can see that we are strolling at pivot R three now. You certainly left a massive gap behind. Okay, so looking for a potential reprieve. Ten minute chart as well, looking at a potential intraday double top. Again. It's all about the unfilled gap left behind. So, again, given the fact that RSI and Stochastic certainly both overbought and looking for a reversal. Now, the CAC volatility index is certainly into support, therefore indicating that fear is potentially going to rise. If fear is going to rise, you are going to see equity markets starting to fall. Okay, that's my interpretation. In terms of the French CAC, at the moment, certainly stalling. Okay, daily chart at the moment, we are into that key uh, day. We're well, not diagonal, but certainly gap fill resistance. We've certainly closed the gap at um, 4675, and the next gap really was at 4677, uh, 4677, 4660. So it's all about these gaps here, folks. Okay, uh, so you had a gap at 4677 and a gap at 4640. Okay. So both of those gaps are closed. If you do continue to march higher, then you are looking at resistance at uh, 4708 and then resistance at uh, 4746. My interpretation is market is way, way overbought. Okay, certainly needs to be potential uh, a retracement or a pullback. 60 minute chart. 
it's been break and go okay certainly break and go as you can see here the french cac 10 minute chart again it's all about that gap below folks and that's what i'll potentially be targeting so again is this market really is it uh is it an impressive rally is is it a rally to be believed in i mean it's just really is um impressive that's all i can say i mean that's probably the only exp word i can i can actually refer to it given the fact that uh, it certainly seems suspicious prior to draghi that everybody would be bidding this market higher or the body market would be bid higher so certainly some inside information inside of trading going on here um potentially draghi nodding off the hedge fund gurus etc call it what you want but certainly suspicious uh, uh trading activity okay daily chart of the FTSE 100 we are into that diagonal trend line resistance okay you are hitting horizontal resistance shortly as well at 6878 eight. okay so again looking for resistance here on the FTSE 100 certainly a double whammy of resistance 60 minute chart on the FTSE itself 60 minutes let's just quickly go to the 60 minute chart okay 60 minute chart we're into that pivot r3 resistance you're into horizontal resistance and therefore looking for a reversal here on the FTSE weaker manufacturing industrial production certainly will keep the FTSE under pressure although uh, the sterling coming off certainly has helped the FTSE rally as well to a large extent okay 10 minute chart of the uh, FTSE itself like I said we have an unfilled gap below at 6780 and uh, you're certainly into that pivot r3 resistance and looking for a potential reversal okay now in terms of the banking sector like i mentioned before certainly it does look exhausted as you can see here previous resistance or previous support equals resistance and therefore looking for a move lower okay FTSE banks as well let's bring up the banking sector for you FTSE banks uh, again coming into that 200 MA coming into previous support equals resistance here okay so this is a solid solid zone of resistance on the banking sector given the fact that we've already obviously ballooned and certainly pushed higher quite significantly certainly is a case now to be made that you are looking for a potential um, top on the banking sector as you can see a diagonal trend line coming in play you have 200 MA coming in play you have horizontal resistance coming in play so there's a lot of factors here that will obviously put a cap to the potential bank rally as well. And it has been, like I said, very, very impressive. Going over to the FTSE MIB now, just to give you an insight where the Italian index is. Here we go. So FTSE MIB on the weekly chart, you can see we are into horizontal resistance. On the daily chart, you can see that we are into horizontal resistance. And therefore looking for a pause and looking for a reversal. Okay. Uh, bringing up the Italian banking sector really which has led this potential rally and again I for one certainly did not predict this and it's it's been nothing short of amazing how you can have all these institutions that are bankrupt okay you bail them out on multiple times and yet again we're back to square one okay not sure how that's supposed to be bullish okay you can't constantly keep bailing out banks it's just it gets to a point where uh, it becomes immune the equity market has become immune to the potential bailout so again you are looking at FTSE Italian uh, well FTSE Italia banking sector into resistance and therefore that should signify risk off in Europe be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates and that's a wrap goodbye now